Want to learn Cantonese anywhere, anytime? Get the Innovative Language 101 app for free. Hi, everybody. Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, why do I sometimes hear nay and sometimes lei? Pronunciation among native Cantonese speakers in China can be different from that of Cantonese speakers in Hong Kong. A lot of people in Hong Kong, especially the younger generation, use a lot of their own conversational slang and tend to speak with what we call lazy tongue, or lan yam. An example is the word you. The right way to pronounce it is nei, but in Hong Kong, many people pronounce it as lei, lei. Let's get into more details. Why do the variations exist? In the recent two or three generations, lazy tongue pronunciations have become more common. The most significant variations are between the N and L, NG and O, and GW and G consonants. Undoubtedly, the lazy tongue pronunciations are more natural and fluid in speech, and is acceptable because others can still understand the meaning based on context despite the unstandard pronunciations. Moreover, the Hong Kong school system focuses on standard Chinese writing more than colloquial Cantonese speech, unless one is in the recitation or debate team. Hence, the lazy tongue is rarely corrected. Nowadays, it's common to hear a few lazy tongue pronunciations here and there in daily conversation. So, Will the lazy tongue pronunciation eventually take over the standard pronunciation? Despite being used commonly, lazy tongue is still frowned upon in some industries that require clear and proper pronunciation, such as newscasters, radio hosts, actors, etc. In recent years, there were also a few TV programs focusing on fixing the lazy tongue issue. And teaching young generations about the importance of using standard pronunciation. Let's look at some examples. For instance, GW versus G. Guo means country, but someone with lazy tongue would pronounce it as Guo, Guo, and Guo, which consequently changes the meaning and causes confusion. While Ngoi Guo means Overseas, the lazy version ngoi go means foreign minister. Interestingly enough, there is occasionally hypercorrection of the lazy tongue pronunciations. For example, oi is sometimes pronounced as ngoi mistakenly when the speaker thought the standard form had an ng consonant. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll.